Meghan Markle was under no pressure to do things the same as Kate Middleton for baby's birth. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced that they'll be keeping the exact plans of their baby's arrival private. Meghan Markle is choosing what's right for her and her baby. While many expected the Duchess of Sussex to follow in the footsteps of Kate Middleton and Princess Diana when it came to welcoming her child, by delivering the baby at the Lindo Wing of Street, Mary's Hospital and introducing the newborn to the world with a photo call outside, Meghan and Prince Harry recently announced that they'll be keeping the exact plans private. People are delighted that Meghan is doing things differently. Royal author Ingrid Seward tells People in this week's issue, she was under no pressure to do things the same. Instead of posing outside the hospital with their new son or daughter as Kate and Princess Diana did, Meghan and Harry announced that they will take part in a photo op with their new baby on the grounds of Windsor Castle, where they recently moved into their new home of Frogmore Cottage, in the days following the birth. Where Meghan gives birth will not be publicly shared but it's highly unlikely that she will chose Street, Mary's Hospital. It is completely understandable, royal author Ingrid Seward tells People in this week's issue. The Lindo Wing has become too much of a circus. Despite hosting many royals and their new additions, Princess Anne was first in 1977, followed by Diana and Kate. Heading to the Lindo Wing would be impractical given Meghan and Harry's move 25 miles away from London. There are several options in the town of Windsor including Princess Margaret Hospital and King Edward VII Hospital, or Frimley Park Hospital in Surrey, where Sophie, Countess of Wessex, had her two children. In fact, Meghan and Harry may skip the hospital altogether and opt for a royal tradition going back to the birth of Queen Elizabeth's children, a home birth. The Queen was born at the London home of her maternal grandparents and welcomed all four of her children at home as well. Her three sons, Prince Charles, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward, made their entrance to the world in grand fashion, at Buckingham Palace. The monarch's daughter, Princess Anne, was born at Clarence House, where she and Prince Philip lived while Buckingham Palace was undergoing renovations following damages suffered during World War II.